What in hell is that thing? On a summer afternoon in 2005, Dick Fulter and Pete Boudet were fishing out on Lake Champlain. This is when they would capture the most convincing piece of lake monster footage ever recorded and never to be seen. The Boudet Film. Lake Champlain is a large lake nestled between New York and Vermont that stretches north into Quebec. Spanning over 200 kilometers, its natural beauty and impressive array of fish species makes it a popular tourist location and fishing spot. However, the lake is most famously known for Champ, the Lake Champlain monster. The legend of Champ dates as far back as the 17th century. Sightings span generations and can be tracked all the way back to the Native American tribes that have long lived around the lake. There have been over 300 reported sightings. This goes back about over 20 years ago, even before they named this creature Champ. I was fishing up there in the late fall, and uh, as I was sitting there, I heard a splash and then I saw the creature. It was no more than 20 some feet approximately from the boat. What I saw from it was approximately the size of a telephone pole. The coloring onto it was very similar to that of a bullhead or of an eel. Champ is often compared to the more famous Loch Ness Monster of Scotland. Both are elusive lake creatures often described similarly to a plesiosaur. The plesiosaur was a carnivorous aquatic dinosaur with a long serpentine neck and turtle-like body with two pairs of paddle-like appendages attached to the front and back. While they were originally believed to have spent all their lives in salt water, it is now believed that they spent much of their lives in fresh water. The film Pete recorded isn't the only solid piece of champ evidence we have. On July 5th, 1977, Sandra Mancy knelt on the shores of Lake Champlain and snapped what is widely considered to be the best lake monster photograph ever taken. The photo was publicly released in the New York Times on June 30, 1981. Champ gained a large amount of worldwide media attention, but the rage quickly died down. There are many red flags surrounding the picture. These are the biggest ones. Sandra didn't tell anyone about the photo until 1980. The exact location where the photo was taken is unknown. The negative photo was thrown away by Sandra. Definitely not a good look for the legitimacy of the photo. While the photo may seem convincing, it has nothing on the Baudet film. The Baudet film has never been released. In 2005, ABC did a segment on the film. Only a few small clips of the footage were actually shown, though it is apparent that the men captured something. ABC brought in two retired FBI agents who reviewed the film and confirmed that the footage is in fact real. However, one of them did say that at no point did he ever see an animal. This is the only footage we have. What in hell is that thing? But Champ is camera shy, and the fishermen say this is the best picture they could get. I'm 100% There appears to be a head, body, and appendage in the final frame. At one point, it appears that you can see an eye and a mouth. There are all kinds of theories on what is seen in the video. Turtle, log, pike, eel, sturgeon, frilled shark, gator. None of these are impossible but we won't know for certain until we see the entire footage. So, where is it? The footage in its entirety is now considered to be lost media. More specifically, hoarded media. Hoarded media is media that someone has collected but rarely or never uses. This is exactly 
what is happening to the Baudet film. The facts on this matter are very scarce and hard to come by. What we do know is that there's a lawyer in New Jersey named Scott Shigin who is keeping the Baudet film in a vault, holding it for ransom. It was theorized that he was looking for $10,000 for the film. This was disproven the last time someone made an offer. The anonymous buyer offered a staggering $20,000. Scott declined and countered with an insane $100,000 counteroffer. This was all the way back in 2014, and to my knowledge, there have been no new developments. There have been attempts to try and raise the money necessary to purchase the film, but so far, nothing has come to fruition. People have had the opportunity to pay just to see the footage. Many of those who have claimed to see the footage in its entirety say that it's much more convincing than what ABC showed. Today the film sits stagnant behind legal copyright. Footage will likely never see the light of day and will eventually be lost forever. Does the Baudet film hold proof of a creature that is unknown to science? Unless someone is willing to buy it for a small fortune, we may never know.